Okay, guys, we're at a call that I came to a couple weeks ago, and uh, they said nothing was coming on at all. Went to the attic, did some troubleshooting, found no issues. Turned out it was the float switch in the pan that was uh, stuck open. I simply uh, touched it, barely touched it, and it closed, and the system came back online. And I didn't have one on the truck. So I told him that I would come back with a switch and that's what I'm doing here today. I really like these switches by Rector Seal. They're called the Aqua Guard. They're magnetic float switches for metal secondary drain pans. So we're gonna, uh, this will be a very easy repair. We're gonna grab the only thing I need, I don't even have to open up the panel. I just need my wire strippers. And then we're gonna walk around to this side of the truck and grab a couple orange wire nuts. And I'm just gonna wire nut it to the existing wire that runs into the air handler rather than having to uh, take the air handler apart. So I have this neat little kit here. It's a, uh, I gotta spin it around. I got it at, uh, I think I got this at Home Depot or Lowe's. I know one of the two. It's a Keter box. So you flip these tabs up. And the first part is where I keep, you know, my clamps to strap my whips. And I keep all my wire nuts, all colors, more clamps. And then if you, if you lift, it's kind of hard to do it on this toolbox. But if you lift it up, like, like this under here I have two hole clamps I have seal tight fittings I'm running low on seal tight fittings so I'm gonna grab two of those and with those items we should be able to complete this service call So I'll stick these right here in my top pocket. Strippers in the back pocket. And I'll just hold on to the float switch in my hand. Close up my box. Nice workout equipment under here. Nice people. We also did a service on their unit that day. Okay. We'll climb up here. I shouldn't need my light, I believe, if I remember right. There's plenty of light up here. I just gotta find the light switch. Uh, I see it. There we go. up here it's a Goodman system okay so there's the switch Kill the power. This is an old style Aqua Guard. They already have wire nuts. Okay, there's an SS one here. And it Looks like they have them. It looks like they have them tied parallel. No, they, no, they don't. They must have them in series because when this one gets stuck, it shuts the system down without the SS1 shutting down. 
Okay, so we have it wired just as the same as the other one. New float switch. I just tied into the one that goes into the air handler and then I broke this one right there. Same way they had it. We'll turn the system back on. Here's the old float switch. Kept uh, sticking. Now we'll test the new float switch by simply raising this right here. I think I heard the condenser shut down. The blower does have a delay. They are breaking red. We established that, la I established that last time I was here. The condenser is off. The refrigerant has quit flowing. I can hear it, I heard it. Here in just a minute, the blower should shut down. Okay, I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but the blower did shut down. That means the flow switch is working and they are tied in series, not parallel, which means it only takes one float switch to trip to shut the system down. Now, as soon as I let go of this, the system will come back online. I've let go. I hear the refrigerant flowing. And there's the blower motor. So, new float switch, tied in with the SS1. They're tied in series, not parallel. That way only one switch has to trip. So this one was sitting in the pan like that. And the other day I just barely touched it and the system came back online. So, it is Saturday but I wanted to come back and do this before it failed again. All right, so they are back in business. You can see some sweat there, refrigerant line's cold. Already checked his refrigerant when I did the service. He also had a uh, weak dual run capacitor that we replaced. This is a, uh, three to three and a half ton air handler and he's running a three and a half ton condenser with a 20 inch flex duct for the return very good normally they undersize the flex here but on the return but 20 inch will definitely handle three and a half so that's good to see all right well she's back online i feel much better and uh Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.